least you can work with the space that he has and then just kind of fade away torn apart memory but hold on RQ Akira gonna lock in a Terizla learning from their brothers here R7 brought it out themselves against the glue let's see how effective it is once more this time on RQ Akira from Brazil or are you team hack from Malaysia Man, I'll tell you what, both team compositions are actually pretty scary here, but I still want to see how this Terizla pick works. Is it going to be utilized very well alongside with everything else being thrown at them? Like you like you mentioned, Gideon, penalty zone is going to be on this, or is he going to back off? A lot of pressure here on King already in the jungle early on, but let's see how this all situates. When, when, if they stay in this lane, Still, though, four members here of Team Hawk on the top side. Oh! They grab the first blood. It's Gusta La Gusta that goes down. Can they find Luis as well? Min has to back off. He's quite... Oh, Takashi. Oh. Team Hawk making their way down to the turtle pit here. They're going to find the target. And Takashi falls here with the setup. Now it's Saijin here. King still going to be working on the turtle. The rest of the team coming to join the party. Can they grab it? It's King that gets the turtle with retribution. They're going to force the flicker out from Saigon. And just like that, it's... It wasn't Cho with level four yet so we didn't have the cc that he wants and now you can see once again how aggressive oh. they're going but here we go gary gonna get kicked into the wall it's king that grabs the kill here so a pickup for rrq akira and takashi grabbing what? another one as two fall they're gonna look for a third man on the run here four members of rrq on the hunt and man can't escape that as luis takes them down that's man. what i was talking about right they really need building in their favor but i gotta say rrq akira finding moments just like it might be another oh. kill here, but Luis with the damage coming out. Gary punishing him with the strike, forcing the flicker back. Now it's King there here to help Gusta Lagusta. And just like that, another pickup. Wow, they didn't see the rough waves. That's big. Conceal play gonna be committed here. Lola, though, like you said, the front line. King, though, still gonna be committing. They know man does not no. have the ultimate here. They're gonna go no. in with the blinker. The TikTok play comes out. Lola still trying to survive, but it's Panda that takes out Takashi on the top side. But Min falls here in the mid lane. Lola's still on the run. Do they find him? Oh. Lola can't get away. Oh, he does, though. Ooh. Panda there. Now it's Luis that gets taken down by Gary. Huge back. Play good from as Team Hawk looks right now in the later stages of the game, they're gonna get outscaled by RRQ, Brazil, and oh, they're not gonna dive this, are they? Man has to be careful here. Still has a flicker though. Gary gonna get out of there. Luis though, finding a target. It's Min that falls. Panda though, punishing Takashi. Knock up. They still hold on to the tier Your one. Lord reset. They're just trying to get out any ultimates, like the, going back to the keys of victory here. Whichever team is able to bait out those ultimates, they get that upper hand. Look at the positioning for King and Saigon. They're still working around. The Lord still being focused. Bob and we between both teams, though. <laughs> they could get sandwiched in here. Panda, though, going to find Takashi. It's Gary that grabs the kill. Another flicker going to commit. Man is the one to fall. King on the retreat here. Still, again, a one-to-one -one trade. Lord still for the taking. Honestly, RQ is just doing a phenomenal job here at slowing down Team Hawk. They just need time, and if they have to trade one for one while Team Hawk is ahead, it's such a big win for oh, them. Look at that, Min forcing back King. Luis, though, another initiation with the way of the oh. dragon, but he gets punished wow. by Gary. Lord's still gonna be worked on. Lola flickering out. King has to back off, he's too low. Min, though, Saigon able to grab a kill. Min to fall. Lord is still up, working by Gary. And now RRQ getting in position. Lord's gonna go in and reset. Gusta Lagusa trying to focus on this tier one. Can he grab the turret? Man, taking the damage. But he finally clears the minions, and we're back to school. Team Hack, they need to... <laughs> I like the dancing, guys. That's right. I like the dancing. Oh my god, what? He, he was trying to take it out! He did it! Panda didn't like it because they initiated the mid lane. Gary's gonna be in trouble. And also on the top side, it's Man That Falls! RRQ Akira! Hear him loud, because they take him down! And now the focus in the mid lane. Tier 1's gonna fall, and now the Lord for the taking! Now that's what I wanted to mention before everyone started dancing here on the caster desk. Is the At the end of the day, Panda, he doesn't, he has to only farm. And when even at max items, he doesn't scale as hard as Gusta the Gusta. Oh, they're gonna be looking to take out Min here as he's gonna be the focus. Takashi gonna miss that ult. A little bit short here, but still Min on the run. Can't get away though from Saigon as he cleans up the kill. Focus on the tier two on the top side. And RRQ just much more difficult to pick these really core heroes off.
and he doesn't, I mean, even looking at the items, he doesn't really have that burst potential just yet. I mean, he could probably get someone half health low, but King gonna be the focus here. Getting caught in a lot of CC as Gary's able to get the kill, but still, can they play around with that Team Hawk? Might be looking for something. The flicker is going to come out. Lola, though, looking to get a pull, but can't get it. Takes quite a bit of damage. Luis is there. Saigon's going to flicker in to grab the kill, but into the penalty zone they go. Takashi unleashing. Oh my God. We grab another one, one after another falls. It's a wipeout. A triple kill for Gusta Lagusta as he was able to just dish out so much damage with that ultimate. I mean, he was basically like free hitting from the backside, and that was that's it. A wiped out. Is this the final moment for Team Hack? I mean, they're cutting it down one by one, and I think this might just be it here. They have more than enough damage, and unfortunate oh. to say, I oh, told you so. No. That IQ's late game. That's what we were looking for. Oh, so unfortunate. It only took one moment. One wipe out for the early lead that Team Hawk had set for themselves to be instantly taken back from them. Well done to RRQ Akira. You know what's crazy? Uh -huh. Like, how many times did Takashi, like, mess up the ult? And even, I don't know if you guys caught that, but even in the early game, right, the mishap. But it, the one that mattered to really turn that team fight around even uh, to clean it up was that final moment where he landed, I believe it hit two or three members of Team Hawk, and then they cleaned up from there.